Hello everyone. Today I am going to modify this thing to when I clean again I can separate all more easy. As you see here all connected and then I have no chance to separate them and wash easy inside this tank. So only this probe you can take out and then out uh, point is let me show you like this uh, okay point is this hole all cable all wire come from this hole then if we turn to the downside there is one small plastic piece here you should take off this plastic Power. Then you see wire come from here. Uh, okay, this is a better view. And this is the cart side, electronic side. Come from electronic side and go inside the hatching side, uh, egg side. We will make the connection which we can open it easy. Then we can take as as we take this probe. As we take like this, separate here and keep wire or wire here. Then clean all inside. The one problem we have is our connector must be. Uh, smaller than this and that is uh, this one this one also we can take out easy candling model this one and then if, uh, if you have candling model you have this connection for the candling light LED light connection we can take out this one too but uh, that's all now we have humidity sensor, uh, motor, heater and the fan. We cannot take off fan. Then I have this kind of connection male and female. Okay, This kind of uh, connection ready one which uh, I can connect like this. Okay. And this thing I will use for fun and uh, for uh, sensor, humidity sensor. And I have this kind of connector. I will use it for uh, motor and the heater. High voltage uh, motor to, to uh, 110 and the heater also 110. This is uh, change with the country, some country 220 or 240 so be careful about what you do. You are doing you can get electric shock and you can make some fire and some damage and this one as you see like this this part is bigger this part will stay inside and this part uh, will go to the outside wiring okay Let's start with the fun. I will let enough wire here, enough wire that I can connect and then make everything easy. Then cut uh, excess. This is uh, enough. Then we take out this one. As I told, this one is easy. Put this one here uh, because. Uh, you can see black and uh, red wire you understand which one you have to connect which and let's take out our humidity sensor in humidity sensor I put tape backside of the humidity sensor and then stick to the here it's better and humidity sensor have two screw here 
you have to open it and the rich uh, humidity sensor this is a plastic cover just like this okay this is our humidity sensor and this is uh, connection I will take off this with the solder then I will put this one inside then I can connect and out easily it's crazy why they don't do that motor and heater I have to cut then I have to put this connector to them too and uh, actually motor not important which one you put uh, plus minus uh, but after you have to check inside uh, if you did right or wrong because when the switch cut that time cut the uh, uh, positive side is better for safety one more thing in this uh, incubator which is bad when lockdown start you have no chance to stop this motor this motor turn always until you stop everything um, for this uh, this connection also this uh, connection also will help to that too when lockdown you just switch up just cut the wire and then you make your motor's life more long you don't need the, its work for emptiness <laughs> okay I am finished it uh, my wire all set let me show you this is my heater I put this connector on it and this is motor and then don't forget to this part if you use same connector this one should be inside and uh, this is the fun I make a little different connection for fun this one and this is uh, I will make hot uh, silicon now I still didn't make it and of course uh, if you have hot silicon filled with hot silicon okay back side of the wire uh, that's all if I take them out like this then I get empty incubators case and I can wash it easy now and this is wire side and uh, this is heater wire heaters is shortest when you cut measure good because if you fail uh, it will be difficult to take pull out and then connect again and uh, this is motor as you see I cut this part just uh, this one I left to show it to you this uh, little plastic has no need you can cut it from here okay and if you do this it will uh, pass that hole more easy not this one okay if you cut this one you cannot make wire connection you have to cut side one okay okay and uh, put back to show you this this is also different connector I decided to make this one uh, like this because of where is my humidity sensor this is uh, humidity sensor as you see before this one uh, not connected like that uh, they make this connector uh, connected straight to the here 
and I out this one I cut it and I put this one on this and this one also can go and out easy cleaning time I will uh, make hot silicone and then uh, clean inside then we'll back I clean wash then I dry it one more thing I do when I finish the washing and dry 8% ethyl alcohol which I mixed with uh, water I just spray like this just lightly okay this enough for the kill uh, all bacteria when before we start give extra cleaning and also this one I put add some lemon essence inside I smell nice lemon then I show you downside this is uh, our wire don't worry about this thing looks messy but actually it is not um, now you will see it's easy I next time I will put some hot glue in here for don't make uh, over pull because uh, it's going back and I don't like it okay start first uh, big wire big uh, connector which is uh, this three uh, heater motor and light send heater send motor and then send light inside then all this will be easy uh, and let me show you here you see I make uh, I close here with the silicone hot silicone okay and I close and I close uh, this connection part with hot silicone hot glue okay now everything seal it and get waterproof not total what better than nothing to do okay now we send everything inside then we have one cover here maybe okay we have a little cover here then uh, we can close this cover on here okay our cover close it then now we can turn it then we start from heater okay because this is uh, shortest wire and it's go deep down now they put this uh, black plastic under and this can move okay left and right then you can set up to the here if uh, it's all not set you cannot find the uh, hole and for the setting you can take one driver and you can push with the driver left and right like this this is in place now we can make it more tight don't go too much because you will open again nice and tight good now we have to make our wire connection first uh, you see this is the shortest cable this is uh, heater how you understand which one is heater is light is uh, black and red have two color and motor uh, is more thick and soft heater is more uh, thin and hard okay show you how easy it become okay let's keep it like that you should do this here we go okay there we are connected now 
the front. And connect it. And close the fan. I make no look down. I will uh, put screen as the first time on the top, but uh, uh, maybe or maybe something soft like this to actually doesn't fall here. If fall, also not a big deal. If not tight enough, uh, it will make noise. So fan must be tight enough. Let's close motor. Okay, our motor also gets set. Then connect it. Okay, now when uh, look down, start next. This time I will just open this and motor doesn't fog. Magic! <laughs> I don't know why they don't put one switch on the motor. Last! Okay, this is a uh, little high and hit the case. But uh, doesn't affect the walk. It's uh, not too important. But next time I will uh, open it and I will make this one to the lay. Put some tape back side and connect somewhere here at the top and be careful this one doesn't uh, uh, touch to the x-ray and this is temperature probe try to keep it somewhere around here I don't uh, put uh, water on it but when it's less than 40 I start put here this four compartment water and many person ask me the channel this is the channel one here and this is second channel here okay if you put full this and this when you start it's, uh, if you incubate wet okay um, you can do it but it's really hard to control humidity inside uh, This lid you can put uh, later on it, uh, it's not uh, important when start. Hold every cable under, okay, uh, like this one, so uh, it will be good to protect the egg, egg tray if uh, doesn't turn, okay. Now we are ready, let's Start and see if it's work or not. Put this one to here and like this. Take this connection and make this connection here. Let's try and see uh, everything work good or not. seems okay and the connection here is okay let's start the reset yes it's turn one more time reset
we put our lid on it don't forget to this okay don't trust only here many time I told but someone come and write under again I make your setting there is no my setting every time was I also change setting okay don't forget uh, this is uh, my measurement if this one example 20 let me show you this one show now 25.8 okay and for me the, the temperature is 25.8 not 28.3 okay this thing read too fast and uh, down too fast you cannot make setting with this but this one different this one better information then we can go more good okay and put this uh, kind of temperature inside read humidity in there and read uh, temperature in there because this parts humidity and temperature probe which they use on this machine is too much cheap so just make it um, work together don't trust just here okay then you have no problem you have no headache this is how I start I don't cut the wire something how I start every time but uh, this is how I start every time I clean the machine I make it ready and uh, close the lid wait it uh, go to the normal temperature and uh, I start to put egg you see how fast it's go to the 30 that's inside still 25 this is good example to don't trust this probe okay that's all for now I hope uh, this uh, information will help someone and I hope you enjoy it uh, see you next video bye bye